Welcome back viewers to uh, uh, Roo Studios Tech It 1.2.9G uh, This is episode 25 In our previous version <laughs> Don't mind Charlie, he snores um, We created, we finished building our reactor and we switched it on uh, There it is there, running uh, merrily, pumping away um, churning out some cyanide ingots which is what we want we want some we want to at least I think four or five stacks of these to get our first turbine running our temperature is uh, it's slowly creeping up there um, but uh, but that's not too bad yet it's all pretty good um, so this episode what we're going to do is we're going to use some of this power here um, and we're going to make ourselves um, some laser drills and some laser pre-charges uh, now the first thing I did is I, we need what we needed was some um, glowstone, uh, energized glowstone, um, which is basically uh, you get some glowstone, right, and you put it through a magma crucible and you make yourself some um, energized glowstone. Uh, so we need that to fill up some of the items for our recipe. So let's have a quick look at the laser items and what we need. So there's our laser drill, so let's look at the recipe for that. Okay, redstone reception coil, plastic, diamonds, hardened glass. We need some hardened glass. That's what we needed. So what we need to make some hardened glass, we have to make, this might take a bit longer than I thought, we need some pulverized obsidian and uh, some lead. Now we've got the lead dust, which is easy enough, but the pulverized obsidian um, it takes eight of those. Now we've only got seven obsidian here. So what we're going to need to do first, uh, and I apologise for uh, for pausing on this, we may need to um, hold off on the laser just yet. We're going to need to make a igneous extruder. Okay, to make one of these, all we need to do is put together uh, this contraption here. Uh, now we have the material for that, so let's go and build it. Let's clear that. Piston there. Bit of glass. I'm pretty sure that other stuff was tin. Yes, okay. So the igneous extruder. Basically all this does basically all this does is turn is makes us cobblestone, it makes us stone or it makes us obsidian. And we need to have some water input and we need to have some lava input for this. Okay, now I'm pretty sure that our oh uh, yes, okay, so that there that one there, so uh, let's put that pipe back. So our ME network is right there, which is good. And if I'm going, I'm going to just place the igneous extruder right there. Now, when we look inside of it, we need water, or we need lava, and we need water. Okay. I'm going to leave this uh, disabled. So again, just like the um, aqueous accumulator, this little fella either makes you cobblestone, stone, or obsidian. So we're going to want obsidian all the time here. So what we need is a uh, is an ender chest and some pipes to feed from here um, into our industry. So that needs to be an output just there. And we'll run a pipe straight into here. So I'll go and get some... Uh, fluid pipes, pretty sure I've got some here. Two, might need a few more than that, so let's just put some of those together. We need some cactus green in here. Now if I'm not mistaken, all I need to do is take that in there and make some pipe sealant and then put the pipe sealant on there for the excellent, so that makes it a fluid pipe okay 
Um, for those who don't know, um, the pipe sealant here is made simply from uh, cactus green, and you make cactus green from smelting cactus, uh, and that basically turns your item pipes here into fluid pipes. We just run it through here. Um, now we're going to go there. Let's come out of here, across and there like that. That way I can cover up this area here and have it look quite neat. Okay, now it's not going in there. The reason it's not going in there is because that is orange. Our top section needs to be an input. And there we go. We have our water coming in and uh, filling up water for us. Now that's our aqueous accumulator just catching up there. Right, and it's all good. There we go. So the next thing for this to work um, is lava. Now we don't need to power this, this will just keep pumping away just like the aqueous accumulator. Uh, what we need to do is we need to make ourselves a ender tank. I th if I have one already, I might have one there. So let's just look into here. Ah, I've got two, excellent. So uh, we only need one. And we need some red sapling. There we go, some red sapling there to turn it to make it match the code for the um, lava ender tank. And let's get some more golden pipe. I think we need just one, I think. That's all we need. Uh, I'll leave it at one for now. If I come back, I'll come back. Um, so there's a golden transport pipe. That's the item when we put the sealant on top of it right it turns it into a fluid pipe I don't think it matters where it goes it's shapeless so uh, just there we make ourselves a fluid pipe so let's place the ender tank down here at the moment it's full of oil we'll have to go and fix that too I might do an episode where we can just sort out our oil a little bit we place the red one in there it should empty out of that and fill up with lava excellent so we just get rid of that now Pop this around the back. Uh, I put it. I'll put it just about. Actually, before I do that, I might just uh, fix this up. So this needs to be an output. We don't need that. Tops an input. And I think we don't need that one. Oh, we do need that one. So we need that one, not that one. Okay, there we go. Uh, I'll just grab some cable and I'll put. A basic input bus. Excuse, all I need is a basic input bus. I'll put it there. We pop him down there. Uh, get me a wrench out. Get me a tool bag. There we go. So he's facing in there. And all we need now is to put the lava just there. Make it an output. Like that. And plop the pipe down there. So. Now what happens, we're full of lava, we're full of water, and these things go together and will make us obsidian. And away she goes into the uh, into the network system. So that's now going to parallel, that'll just merrily uh, churn away, making us uh, obsidian forever and a day. Um, so that's really good. We can throw a... Um, a um, level emitter on this to stop it if we need to, but um, end of the day, it's going so slowly, and we use our um, obsidian. We're going to need a lot of the obsidian because we need to uh, make it. We need it to make a whole range of things for us, uh, especially the obsidian dust. So uh, we'll let that go for now. Um, there is another thing we need to make, and I might just um, put that together now, as saving while this while this turns out, um, because we're going to need a bit of time to uh, get the obsidian together. And that is a cyanide reprocessor. Now we need this to make certain things for our turbine. All right, there it is. So we need this one here. All right, we need coolant reactors. Um, now I'm pretty sure we've got some of these left over. Uh, fuel rod. So do I have any in here? We might have one left. Did I put it in here? 
look at that beautiful so one of those uh, let's clear this so that goes in the center grab some of our iron excellent we have some of these left over some redstone and some pistons all right so we needed one of these now what we need this for is when we make our uh, uh, when we get some cyanide we need to make another ingot process another ingot called um, plutonium and we need that material to make uh, what was it uh, let me just pull it up we need that to, I think to make the turbine controller yeah so we need a plutonium ingot now we can we can make a plutonium ingot by smelting plutonium dust um, but it doesn't say this thing doesn't tell you how to make a plutonium ingot all right so uh, um, so I had to do a go you had, you had to go on the wiki to, to find out how to do this um, but you don't have to do that I'm going to tell you right now you need a cyanide reprocessor so we'll plonk that down there um, and we need to power it um, and we'll attach a, um, a another basic import bus to it and uh, we'll let's put that back on oh that's just an access terminal okay that's good so let's get another basic import bus so come down here pop it there that's connected to our system and now what we need to do I'm pretty sure we need water on this one as well yes so you need to have uh, water with it um, so we'll just get some more pipe and we'll run our aqueous accumulator pipe over to that as well so we'll get one two three one two three four of those should four should be enough we just happen to have enough sealant there which is good there we go and hopefully our aqueous accumulator will uh, be enough or should be uh, powerful enough to run these machines for us now if I go ah that's no good damn it where's our wrench can I disconnect that I can't okay that's no good let's get rid of that and rid of that and let's go Let's go this way instead. Nope, that's no good to us either. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. All right, we'll go up one and go down, which means we might need a few more. Look at that, one more. How'd you be? All right, I'll go get another one. Okay. And I'll get some hardened pipe work, some power. So plop that there. Uh, so our top's our import. It should be filling up the water now. There we go. So we've got water going in there. We have it connected to our import, so we uh, make it, and we need now a little bit of power. Let's just go and kill ourselves down here. And it's easy enough to just hook it up to that. Across and there. Done. Okay. So now what we can do, and we have our power and we have our water. So what we can do is, uh, I, I'm not going to put uh, input onto this because uh, we don't need to. We don't need that much plutonium. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some of the cyanide that we've already processed. Let's see how our level's going. Still sitting around 1550. That's all good. Making a nice amount of cyanide here. So let's uh, let's. Um, Two, four, six. That'd be six. That's enough for six. Um, six turbines. So let's run that. So 
So we pop this in here. Hmm. Okay. Oh, there we go. So if I leave that go for a little while, so it looks like it's a very slow process in there, and it's, it's stuck in there at the moment. Did I just take out some plutonium? What's, what's happened there? That went down to nine. Ah, you need two per course. You need two um, cyanide ingots to make one plutonium ingot. That's what the problem was. So let's grab the rest of these. Um, and pop them up in here. And notice we're still we still haven't got our um, it's still not outputting. So what we're going to do, and the reason for that is I haven't set the output up on this. So the back of this should be an output, probably there I'd say. Uh, maybe maybe see the see the outline. Maybe it's got to be green. There we go. There she go. And off she goes. Done. So that's now um, set up. So we have our igneous extruder churning away um, obsidian for us. We have our cyanide reprocessor, which is making plutonium ingots for us. Um, and we are now set to go and generate and build all our bits and pieces for our turbines to get our power happening. All right, so I'm going to uh, end the uh, tutorial there. I apologize for um, saying it's going to be a laser, uh, a laser drill, but we needed these items here um, to get ourselves going, especially the obsidian um, the generator, the igneous extruder. So uh, there we have igneous, igneous extruder, cyanide reprocessor, uh, and we can now progress our power generation project for our base. Uh, and we're very close. We just need to uh, um, get ourselves squared away with. Have we run out already? I've oh, 40 there. Um, yep, she's still going good. With our cyanide, we need to wait for cyanide now, and uh, what we're going to do now, the next episode, will be our laser drills. So well, I apologise for that, uh, and we'll keep cracking on with it. So uh, hope you enjoyed it, um, got something out of it. Um, if you did, please like, subscribe, and share. It helps me out, and I'll see you on the next tutorial. Bye for now.